running a dispensary is more than a full-time job. It's a lot. It's just 24 hours a day. That's all we do. Bianca Sullivan and her husband Rob opened the first medical marijuana dispensary in the Kansas City area. Now they want to expand to the recreational market. We're all for the full legalization of marijuana and that nobody goes to jail for it and it's not a crime. The Sullivans are helping write a petition to put a constitutional amendment on the 2022 ballot. It's the same way medical marijuana was approved. Once you have a certain amount of signatures, um, you know, per a certain amount of districts, you can get it on the ballot. There's also legislation in the Missouri State House to legalize marijuana, but a constitutional amendment may be easier and faster to get approved. The Constitution trumps the laws that the legislature makes because the people spoke. The issue is not without controversy. While some advocates say legalization would reduce crime, KCPD Chief Rick Smith isn't convinced. In a 2019 blog post, he cited a report from the Midwest High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area saying in some states, violent crime, property crime, human trafficking, and marijuana-related traffic deaths increased after legalization. I do not believe that there's been a parade of horribles that some people suggest. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas says the increased tax revenue for the state and city can't be ignored. Recreational marijuana could face a 13% tax on top of city sales tax, with 3% going to local governments. I'll just say it this way. It's a hell of a lot better for us to have tax revenues for marijuana rather than spending tax revenues to try to continue a somewhat un, uh, helpful, unsuccessful drug war against marijuana. The decision could soon be in the hands of Missouri voters. Emily Hallwick, KMBC 9 News. Medical marijuana has been legal in Missouri since November of 2018. Since then, there have been a handful of dispensaries open in southwest Missouri from Cassville to Neosho. Well, now medical cannabis patients have another option. KOIM Zach Dodds gives us a look at Joplin's first medical marijuana dispensary and how it's been in the works for more than a year. A high level of knowledge in a private, secure setting. That's what Missouri Made Marijuana wants to bring to the table. We really go the extra mile to train our bud tenders on all the products that we do have in stock so we can ensure that the patient is given, given the right product. But a big part of it is having a place that's close to home. Driving to Neosho or Oklahoma can be pretty rough uh, on gas and stuff like that, so it's nice to have one that's close. Missouri Made Marijuana at the corner of 15th and Range Line is officially open. Super excited. I'm just excited for patients to come in and be able to get what they need. The dispensary's been in the works for more than a year, meaning that bud tenders like Samantha Palisse, who used to be a nurse, have been waiting for months to see patients walk through the doors. I was constantly calling and bugging the managers here, like, when we're going, come on now, come on. All the way from, you know, uh, developing our location here um, to hiring the employees, training everybody, uh, working our relationships up with the local vendors here in Missouri to find products for our patients. To finally be open and have people coming in the doors here in Missouri in a new state is surreal to us. The dispensary currently has flour, pre-rolls, vape cartridges, and edibles but they're working on their own product line so they can make sure the product they have meets the demand and help as many patients as possible. Just come on in and we're here to help. In Joplin, Zach Dodge, KUAM News. The dispensary is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. $27 million, that's how much Missouri patients spend on medical marijuana last month. And now that industry is up and running in Joplin. Action 12's Gretchen Bolander was at the brand new dispensary today and joins us in the studio. Gretchen, how did day one go? Well, Andy, in what is a controversial business, there is frustration and excitement and money coming in. It is all part of the business of selling legal marijuana in Joplin. I've been a patient for a year already. So Stacy Deckard of Joplin has been driving to Springfield a couple of times a month to buy medical marijuana. I have a lot of like nerve pain and insomnia. She says the cannabis indica helps with that, something she can now buy in town. Since I don't have to drive like an hour and 15 minutes. Missouri Made Marijuana is officially open for business. 17 staff members are trained to help state qualified patients learn about the different choices. Whether they're looking for pain, appetite, sleep, you know, mental health, anything like that, we kind of have a variety of products that, that go for whatever element they're dealing with. 
Staff is also trained in the extensive list of state regulations. You must have photo ID to make a purchase along with state patient certification. We've actually already had a few people uh, try to come in this morning that think that it's just open to the public and ready to go. There are limits to how much you can buy enforced through a statewide database. Security is strict with controlled access to the sales floor and countless locks and video cameras. And the sales are cash only. We are still federally illegal, so when it comes to banking and everything, um, it's very tough. We have an ATM available out front for our cash only patients to try to help them out with that a little bit. Missouri Made Marijuana is now open 24 7, at least from here on out at 15th and Range Line. And Andy, two more dispensaries are in the works for the Joplin area, including one at 7th and St. Louis is hoping to open later this month. All right, thank you very much, Gretchen. <coughs>